All right, so this is a very, very, very short review of sex, ecology, spirituality. Uh, I don't know if any of you have read it, but it's a book by Ken Wilber from the 1990s, and it basically overviews uh, many components of reality. It tries to create an integral perspective of um, consciousness, religion, evolution, sociology, physics, science, science, it just is very, very all-encompassing. And um, this is sort of a pointer rather than just a, a in-depth analysis of, of the book. The good things I can say is it's, it's very broad and very in-depth at the same time because it's so long. It's, I forgot how many pages, 700 or so. Um, I believe that it, it is a, it's definitely worth checking out. If you're a social scientist or even a philosopher, and, I mean, this would be a great uh, book for your curriculum. Uh, not that there aren't errors, but that this, the questions and the ideas portrayed and the general perspective is very macro and it's very all-encompassing and it might raise questions, it might lead you in new directions. Um, so that th those are some of the positive things, and some of the more interesting components is it kind of takes you, it 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 gives you a general design, or structure or pattern of evolution, and then it takes you from the beginning to beyond today, beyond beyond even today. It it shows you how evolution has progressed to more and more complex levels, and then attempts to incorporate and show you how people fit in, how spirituality fits in, how um, God fits in, and, and science, and how it's this big spectrum of consciousness, spectrum of evolution in a way. And for that, it's very good. It will, uh, And literally, it can take you through the structures of thinking. And it's not all Wilbur's thought, it's so many different theorists. And he'll give you examples from dozens and dozens of authors and writers from Jürgen Habermas, as I've been mentioning more frequently in my videos, to um, Emerson, or Whitehead, or um, Orobindo, Orobindo, I think is the correct pronunciation. And I think it was a very, very comprehensive attempt at creating some kind of integral theory of everything. On the downside, it can, it can have the tendency to be a little bit pedantic, um, a little bit flowery at times, where it could have kept being the way it was being, which was very nice and descriptive and in-depth. Um, and then it, it set up a lot of, um, I forgot the terminology, but uh, the, the, the description for this sort of thing. But when you set up something that really isn't that big of a deal, and then you tear it down, I mean, straw man argument, there we go. Jeez, this went through like whole thinking process. Um, but the straw man argument, that, that exists a little bit. I don't know, maybe in the 1990s, postmodernism used to be more popular. Um, but one of the things I've been getting as feedback from a lot of you folks is that it's not. It's, it's, it's not that big of a deal anymore. Um, it's not this big obstacle stopping the social sciences from evolving and becoming more integral or comprehensive. Um, I will give them the benefit of the doubt because it seems like that is the consensus. And perhaps it is just in the United States in the liberal arts departments, such as where I'm from, that it's still present at best. Um, so uh, I guess Wilbur having set up this big evil postmodernism to get over was maybe a little bit too much. And then also the, his, his portrayal of reductionism also a little bit too much. Uh, I've spoken to scientists as well as, as people who are in these going into these fields. They're not intentionally reductionists in the way he portrays. He kind of demonizes them a little bit. Um, so all in all, I, I would say, sex, ecology, spirituality, amazing read, very enthralling, and so many great quotes by so many great philosophers and mystics. Um, so I recommend it because of all the wealth of material that's going to be presented. Wilbur himself, um, very clever, very intelligent, just for being able to grasp this whole thing and put it down on this big, in his big, all-encompassing book. But he can be a little bit dramatic, 
at times, so I wouldn't take his word for everything. I would just, you know, check up a little bit on the background of the su subjects that he um, speaks about. And, um, yeah, that's about it. So I do recommend this book, Sex, Ecology, Spirituality. It was quite a read. If you have some time, I do recommend it. So thank you very much for listening.